she would block me. Block oh. me. She was like so sorry about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dari. Don't be mad at me. I'm not trying to invade nothing. I don't want to mess up our friendship. I love you so much. Shut up, bitch. Me and the obsessive friend started to look alike. She up messing with all my stuff, going through my drawers. Why would you steal from me? Okay. Can't get nothing to myself around here, huh? She like, yeah, she want to start a YouTube channel. <sighs> Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't going mm, nah. Nah, it ain't going to work. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. It is your girl Adari, the one and only Adari Takayla. And you're back with another video. So as you can see by the title, this is a story time. I'm not leaving out no details. I'm starting from beginning to end over my obsessive friend that I had. It was a rough experience, honestly, but it's okay. Before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The obsessive friend I will be talking about today, I met her through a mutual friend who introduced us to together. The mutual friend I had name was Casper. Casper introduced me to this girl that's the obsessive friend. When me and the obsessive friend met, she told me her name and I told her my name, you know, like what school I go to. Give a small talk because, you know, that's what you do when you're trying to meet somebody. See, back then, I wasn't a talkative friend. Like... The most you will get out of me is a 15 second conversation because I was such a like quiet person and I didn't really talk much. But all I did was like observe much. Like I don't just automatically blah, 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 tell you about my whole life and now we besties. I don't do that because I need to get the rundown of you, see who you is, what I'm working with, all types of things like that. The friend that Casper brought to me, she was very talkative. I don't mind because that gets me out of my shell to make me be more comfortable with you. But that was back then. I'm more talkative now. I don't mind. She would give me the rundown of her whole life, like tell me everything about her. You know, I was still giving a little small talk after what she was saying like i interacted with what she was saying to me it wasn't much i could say to her about me i didn't have much to say to her because i don't really know you like that and i don't know if i could trust you i don't know i just always had that mindset growing up like don't tell nobody everything about you because you don't know who they go back and tell or if they talk about you behind your back it's so many different kind of friends in this world that you just don't know what you getting yourself into until you actually meet them like you could have a friend that steal from you you could have a friend that's weird that talk to you and never fucking talk to you again you could have a friend that's genuine it's all different kind of friends and you just don't know what you get yourself into but back then I, I was open to all kind of friendships because i didn't know what a real friend was and me not knowing what a real friend was it was a mistake i had for myself because i accepted anybody as a friend everybody don't know my business but I was cool with everybody, if that makes sense. The girl that Casper introduced me to, she only had Casper as her friend. And I'm like, that's kind of weird. Like, why she ain't no friend? I, that's kind of weird because, you know, like, growing up, you have a lot of friends. Like, even friends that your mama, your mother got a friend and she got a daughter, like, or a child. You know, and they hang together and stuff like that, like. It's not a time where you don't have a cousin or a friend like to hang with. You know, she didn't have nobody to hang with, only Casper. And I kind of felt bad for her because I'm like, dang, where's your friends? Like, you know, we still growing. I don't see why you don't have friends, but I kind of see now. It's cool. It was cool. We added each other on Facebook and we started like texting on there and it started commenting on each other pictures. Telling each other we're cute, like, you know, supporting a friend with a new hairstyle, with a cute picture, all kind of things like that. You know, normal things as a friend, like, that's common sense. It started to get weird after, like, I would say two weeks when she wanted my phone number but didn't want to ask me for my phone number. It's kind of weird to me because it's like, okay, we've been friends for two weeks now. You can get my number. Like, I was okay with texting on Facebook because I didn't think she wanted nobody to have her number. I didn't know what was going on in her head, so I just kept it at a minimum and kept it on Facebook and Messenger. She ended up texting me like, what's the last four digits of your number? When she asked me what's the last four digits of my number... I'm like, girl, do you want my number? 
Like, I don't know why she was beating around the bush to get my number, but come on now. It was kind of weird. So, I got her my number when we started texting on IMAX. Casper was one of them friends where if you hung without her, she would feel like you moving weird. I'm always the type of person that makes sure everybody's invited. Like, I hated feeling left out. And I had trio friendships too, and them was the worst experiences ever. I made sure she never got left out because I know how that feel. It was just me, Casper, and the obsessive friend. It was cool. Like, our friendship was cool. We'd go out every weekend. We'd be on FaceTime. We'd talk. But then it started, like, me and Casper started talking more. I'd be like, dang, what the obsessive friend? Because I'm not saying her real name. Because, no. She know who this is. She know who she is. She probably watched this. <laughs> um, so, I asked Casper, like, dang, what other friend? Because, you know, we ain't all on FaceTime together. Casper telling me her and her friend got into it. Why you ain't tell me? Like, why neither one of y'all told me? I'm wondering, like, why we not texting the group chat no more? Why y'all both texting me separately? Like, that's kind of, you know, off. I wasn't invading nobody privacy or conversations that they had. Because if you want to tell me something, tell me. I'm not going to go looking for the answer when you could tell me. Casper finally told me that they fell out because she started posting little quotes on Snapchat about how she ain't got no real friends. But I've seen the post. I never really cared about people who said they don't have friends because at the end of the day, if I'm your friend, you're my friend. It doesn't matter. We talk when we talk. We hang together when we hang together. Like, I don't know. I never took posts that serious. But I guess Casper did because it's like, why are you saying you ain't got no friends? I totally get that. She ended up falling out with her, but at the end of the day, I was still cool with the obsessive friend too. So now I'm kind of in the middle of it, and I'm just like, dang. I'm not picking no sides because at the end of the day, we both friends. Let them handle that stuff and talk it out and try to like get a solution with that because y'all friends. You don't want to mess up the whole friend group over something y'all fell out about that was so small. When they had their little space, me and the obsessive friend was getting real tight. Like, we was getting real close. Like, we'll go out. I'll tell Casper, like, me and the obsessive friend is going out today. I'm just letting you know so you don't see no pictures of us on social media and think, like, dang, where's us? Like, ain't no more us. Because at the end of the day, once upon a time, we was all friends. Casper got other friends. The only person that doesn't have other friends is this obsessive friend. I had other friends, too. So, she would want to text every day and be on FaceTime all day and night. I was not that friend. I seriously do not want to be on the phone all day or text every day because honestly, I have a life outside of you. Oh. And I just feel like there's just too much pressure and too much too much responsibility because if I don't text back, you're going to be mad. No, I'm not doing one of those. I'm not doing that. But that was her. She was very like, wanted to talk every day, wanted to be on FaceTime every day. And I'm just like, no. I'm busy today. I'm not trying to like exclude you or anything like i'm not trying to be weird or nothing but we don't have to text all day every day she never understood that like get mad about it and i'm like all right cool like what you want me to do what you want me to say like i can't text you every day i don't have enough energy to text you every day or call you every day or my vibe would be down and if my vibe down she will be down she just rubbed off my energy every time we talked every time we text like she just rubbed it off and I feel like have a man of your own. She would do weird stuff. Like if I tell her something like I don't feel like texting today or I'm not really in the mood to like conversate, she would block me. Block oh. me. Like that's so weird to me. Why would you block me? I'm not finna go text everybody around the world to ask you why you block me. If you block me, then that mean you just don't want to be friends no more. It's that simple. It's like after she blocked me, she quickly unblocked me and be like, I just blocked you. Girl, please, okay? Yeah, she was more like trying to be like a relationship more than a friendship. I hate friendships that try to be more than friendships. Like, you was not my boyfriend. You was not my mom. You was not my sibling. You was not this, that. You just my friend. Like, we're going to conversate as friends. We're going to hang out as friends. We're going to do things as friends. We're going to talk as friends. We don't have to see each other every day to be friends. We don't have to talk every day to be friends. But she didn't, she didn't get that. Like, I get you don't got friends outside of me. And probably bored, but I still, even if I didn't have friends outside of her, I would not want to invade her privacy every single day of our life. No, that's draining. I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to give you your space and 
we gonna text the next day or the next two days. Like, I'm not gonna feel no type of way about it. I was telling her about this boy I talked to, too, and I had recently been talking to him for like a month or so. And I was telling her like, yeah, me and him getting real serious. We getting closer. End up taking him more serious. And I'm taking him more serious. Um, the obsessive friend getting jealous. She getting jealous because I'm hanging with him more than I was hanging with her. I don't feel like that's a problem. Me and him will see each other every other weekend. But when he did hang with us, the vibes was cool. Like, as time come on, I kind of see her getting real, real close to him. As if like, it's getting weird now. Like it was getting too close. So after we left that day with him, I kind of pulled her to the side. Like, I'm not really fucking with it. I'm not really liking the energy that you giving off. Cause I know that y'all became friends through me. But y'all not best friends, so keep it at a minimum. She was like so sorry about it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Dari. Don't be mad at me. I'm not trying to invade nothing. I don't want to mess up our friendship. I love you so much. Shut up, bitch. And I'm like, it's not that. I'm just saying. I'm just, it's cool. Like, don't cry. She was getting so sentimental. And I'm just like, it's cool. Like, that's all. I want you to respect our boundaries, you know? We still friends at the end of the day, me and you obsessive friend she's like relieved when i told her like it's okay please and she started saying like you got me scared because i'm thinking like we not gonna be friends no more you gonna stop hanging with me i'm like nah you ain't did nothing to get to that level because i don't cut people off just like that i did not cut people off off a snap of a finger back then so she was real sorry about that yeah so, a few weeks passed or a few months. I don't remember if it was a few weeks or a few months. But me and the obsessive friend started to look alike. And when I say we started to look alike, I mean I would get some shoes. She would get the same shoes. But you know, if you want to match, like we can match outfits, take some pictures, you know. But it wasn't one of those. It was a, you wearing this today? Oh, okay, I'm going to wear that today. Type of vibe. I'm not saying nobody trying to copy me off rip because... It's like, okay, we have the same shoes, let's match. As in my head, I was thinking, but she wasn't thinking that way. She was thinking like, a diary got them shoes, I'm going to get the shoes too. A diary got that shirt, I'm going to get that shirt too. And I'm going to wear it the next day. That was one of them. It's so weird. It's so freaking weird. So, um, when she had the shoes, the first day she got the same shoes as me after, like, I had wore them the day before. She telling me, like, she just started liking Jordans recently, like, not too long ago. And I'm like, oh, them your first pair? And she's like, yeah, them my first pair of Jordans. I'm like, oh, it's like Jordan make, like, 3,000 Jordans. You wanted those? And it wasn't even the newest. <laughs> it wasn't even the newest shoes, y'all. Y'all know how Jordan, back then, Jordan used to come out with new shoes every two weeks. Them shoes was like two months old. Like, he come out with new styles every other week or every two weeks. I don't remember back then, but he came out with new shit, like, weekly. But she probably liked it them, for real. She probably liked it the ones. She probably seen me in them and was like, okay, I like those I'm two. just letting it slide. Like, okay, fuck. Okay, fuck it. It was one night, um, the obsessive friend came to spend a night over my house. And I was, I had a lot of company. Like, I liked the people over my house. I liked it that all type of stuff like that she came over one night to spend a night because we was uh, going outside the next day she came over I'm like okay we about to go to sleep because you know we got to get up in the morning and go get breath eggs go we got a whole day planned out for us tomorrow we go to sleep well at least i thought we went to sleep because i went to sleep she didn't go to sleep she up messing with all my stuff going through my drawers going through my underwear like she's going through all my stuff i'm a very organized person like i keep stuff where i remember where i put them because nothing ever ended up coming up missing but comes to find out it was her rattling through my stuff i didn't know until i woke up the following day that my stuff was moved around and not in the same place that i had it at first and one of my drawers was left open i had my outfit out that i was going to wear the following day out on my dresser because I knew what I was going to wear. I had a shirt missing. It was only shorts and my underwear left on a dresser. I didn't think it was her. The first thing I thought was I probably ain't put it out here. But I'm not crazy. I still looked for the shirt. Could not find it nowhere. I'm asking her can she help me find my shirt. We're looking everywhere because this shirt was so freaking pretty. 
and I knew I wanted to wear it with my shoes, the same shoes that the girl got, that I got, I knew I wanted to wear them with my shoes the following day. We couldn't find it. Yeah, that shirt's still gone to this day. So we about to leave, because now I'm changing on my outfit. We about to leave. She putting on her clothes, I'm putting on my clothes. We about to go get breakfast. So I just felt like it was weird that I could not find my shirt. And I know I put the whole outfit out right there, even the underwear. That's how I know I put the whole outfit there. I don't even just leave my underwear out without the full outfit. Like, I need my shirt, and I need my shorts, and I need my underwear out because I'm going to take a shower in the morning. You know, it just, it just makes sense to me because that's what I do. I'm skeptical because nothing ever comes up missing in my room. So we go out, me and her go out. I change my outfit. I did. Before y'all ask, I did not go through her things. I did not go in her book bag to see if my shirt was there because I 100% trusted her to know that she didn't take it. It was a fun day. We went outside. We had fun. Like, I won't even lie. We had so much fun. Then she went home. So, I'm calling Casper because me and Casper are not talking that much anymore. I don't think Casper had to deal with the obsessive friend as much as I did. I'm up editing right now. But I say this because she clinged on to me too fast. Like, it was real easy. Like, she was attached as a friend. Sorry. I FaceTime Casper to talk to her and update her on my life because, uh, friend, where you been? I'm acting like, what's up with her and the other girl, the other friend that I met through her? She still be throwing shots on Snapchat, being weird. And after a while, I didn't see the obsessive friend stories no more. I didn't see her Snapchat stories. I didn't see her Facebook stories. All I could see was her Facebook posts and she barely posts, like, me and her barely post. Like, we have post pictures. As I thought, and like just get off Facebook and I post pictures on Snapchat, but I never could see her post. Apparently, she had me blocked on it. So I'm like, what have she recently posted that was about you? She made a post that said, Real friends don't fall out over little things. If we fall out over little things, we're not real friends. So I'm like, I did not see that post at all. She was like, Yeah, it was on Snapchat like two days ago. So I'm like, Let me know when she posts something else, and I could probably conversate it to her about it and see if i could see her story the fuck is i can't see your shit girl i don't know if she had me blocked from seeing her stories but i definitely 100 percent could not see her stories okay like a few weeks passed i guess her and casper arguing 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 like they about to get into it and fight about it. i'm like show me because apparently the obsessive friend not talking to me right now so i'm like casper show me show me y'all messages on snapchat but mind you snapchat show you when you screen recording or screenshotting so she's screen recording the very freaking top. So she's screen recording the whole thing. They were sliding up on each other's stories back and forth. As she was sliding up on her story, I saw a like you know how on Snapchat it's like a little clip of you sliding up and it's them. I saw an orange shirt. I promise I saw an orange shirt in the screen record. I'm like Casper, show me the picture with her in that orange shirt. Oh, Casper, um, go screenshot the picture of the girl with the orange shirt because imagine they saved their messages because they going back and forth. They don't want nothing to delete. You want to open something, then delete, and you don't remember what the girl said. I'm like, show me the part where you slid up on her and she hit on that orange shirt. So she screenshotted it. So the picture was my obsessive friend. You know how you take a picture like this and um. You got words like that? Let me do it. Let me make an example. <clears throat> but look. It was one of those posts. Like, she clear as day had my shirt on. After you didn't help me look for the shirt and everything, you had it the whole time. That's why you don't trust people. It had, like, a quote on there talking about Casper. So, y'all. At this point, when she sent me that picture, I'm here because... Wow, man. Uh... <laughs> Damn. Why would you steal from me? Why would you steal from me? And it was kind of weird because like as back then, I would let you wear my shirt. You wouldn't have to like be sneaky about it and steal it. You could just ask for it. I would let you wear it, just give it back. That's all. I go on Snapchat to see if I could see the post. That shit gone. Like the whole story of anything is not there. It's not there. Like I don't see nothing. And her snap score was going up, but I couldn't see nothing. And I was like, is she hiding this from me? Like, that's so weird. So, I played it off. I didn't say nothing to her. I didn't conversate about the shirt to her. 
excuse me. I never um confronted her about the shirt because she knew she took it. She knew I was gonna find out. It was weird of her to even take the shirt. Anyway, thief is always a thief. Like if you apologize, you could do it again. You did it once, you could do it twice. Like apology wasn't even gone. Go nowhere with me. But I continue to play my role. As you know, I can see the Snapchat story. So I FaceTime the obsessive friend and I'm like, girl, what you doing? Play it off being normal. She ain't got her face in the camera. She ain't got nothing in the camera. She, you know, she was like, girl, nothing for real, for real. Probably finna go to the mall. I'm like, I wanna come. I'll be ready in 30 minutes to an hour. I literally only wanted to come to see if she was gonna wear the shirt. So they came to get me. She got on a whole different shirt. She got on a whole different shirt. She took the shirt she had, took for me off. She made sure she got her Snapchat story picture in and took it off. That's so weird. You think she was gonna put it back in my drawer or something? Girl, if you don't be fucking for real, like, girl, I still cannot find my shirt. Like, I looked again and I still don't find it. She was like, I don't know, you probably misplaced it. I like you, man, you lie a lot. And I'm thinking, yeah, misplaced it and you stole it, motherfucker. We at the mall. I'm going through the mall because I'm actually about to shop and look for another freaking shirt to go with my shoes. Her sister separated from us, and I'm thinking like she gonna go with her sister or something, but I guess not. She followed me into every store and everything I'm looking at. She come from what she looking at after I move and go look at what I was looking at. Like she just, she just was following me. Once I move from that spot, you going to go to that spot to look at what I was looking at. Like that's, that's not odd. She don't know that I was peeping it, but I was definitely looking and paying attention because one thing I am is observe. So I grabbed this bucket hat, this black bucket hat, and this black coat. <sighs> Y'all already know where this finna go. She was like, that's so cute, I want it too. So she grabbed the black bucket hat and the black no, coat. No, God, please, no! She was so thirsty to get it, she didn't even check the size on it. <sighs> she just knew she wanted it because I grabbed it. I brought it because I actually did. I actually did want it. She brought it too. So then and there, I knew she was copying me. I just knew it. I knew she was copying me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That passed. That passed. That passed. That passed. We leave them all. I ain't get nothing else because I didn't want to copy me. So I didn't get nothing else. She didn't get nothing else. Either. Like we literally got the same thing from the mall. Like she didn't go to no other store. I didn't go to no other store. Like we just had the same thing. A couple weeks later, I end up taking the jacket back because. Online, it was a blue jacket that I saw that looked better than this black plain jacket. So I ended up taking the jacket back and the bucket hat ended up getting a blue bucket hat and I ordered the blue jacket offline. So that finally came together and I'm like, okay, this look good. So I ended up taking a picture in it and posting it on Facebook and she FaceTimed me like, you don't got the black jacket no more or the black hat? Like, like concerned like it was the end of the world so i'm like no nah, i took it back i just like that the blue one better she's like how much it costs online or whatever and i'm just like it only costs 25 dollars you know nothing for real, for real it's just a jacket she was like i want one but i might keep the black one too i'm like mm, okay can't get nothing to myself around here huh she ended up digging the blue jacket and the blue hat to be exact <laughs> got him we fucking got him Kind of overwhelming now because at this point motherfucker you copying my life so i decided that i wanted to start a youtube channel i just want to want to be a youtube content creator something i personally deep down wanted to do the first video i did she supported me or whatever she like oh my god you go girl you're gonna make it in this youtube career you're gonna go 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 but back then i took youtube Serious. I seriously wanted to do it because I actually liked entertaining and I actually like going up to people asking questions. Like I, that was something I genuinely liked it to do. I'm, I'm telling her like thank you for the support. You know, not even after I posted my public interview at high school, she asked me how do she start a channel. You can have one public and you can have one private, and it just depends on what kind of platform you're trying to do on YouTube to make it public. And if you just want videos for yourself you can make your page private. So I'm telling her like, um, you want to start up a channel or something? I'm asking her, do you want to start a channel? She like, yeah, she want to start a YouTube channel. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't going, 
Mm, nah, nah, it ain't gonna work. At this point, you want to do everything I do. You just want to do everything I do. And I would prefer if you actually find your own path in life and something that you really wanted to do. I don't know, she was getting very freaking obsessive over me and my life. It's, it's weird, it's, but I don't care. Like, she would do it too. Disclaimer, it's not about that she started the YouTube channel. I don't mind that you want a YouTube channel or anything like that, but like, it's everything that added up to that. Like, you can make a YouTube channel and everybody eat, not holding a bag from nobody. But it's like, everything you did is the reason we're not friends no more. That makes sense. Little things you gotta pay attention to in life that people would do right after you. She made her channel, but she never posted anything. I'm assuming she don't know where to start, which is true because you didn't want the channel for real. She didn't know where to start, so she never made nothing else after it. I started dissing myself from her because it's like, uh, I'm, I'm nervous. Like, I don't know what you want, but I'm not on that type of time. Like, I get this kind of friends out there that just want to be like real tight and do stuff that the other friend do. No, I don't even know what kind of friend it is. I came to the conclusion that she want my life. She want to do everything I do. She want to be connected with me on another level. Like, after she told me she want her YouTube channel, I'm like, all right, it's wraps. I can't do this no more. You're weird. You're weird. I'm not going to go any further with this friendship because first it was the shoes. Then it was the shirt. Then you stole from me. Then you blocked me on Snapchat from seeing your stories. Then you want to get mad when I don't text you back automatically and don't think I have a life outside of you then you want to go to the mall get the same thing I got and then when I take it back and get a blue one you want to go get the blue one too and then you want to create a YouTube channel after I started my YouTube channel I don't know how many more red flags I need to know that she's obsessed with me she really wanted my life crazy it's cringy to think about it now because it's like you really did everything I wanted to do you really wore everything I wore. Like, and to this day, I never got the shirt back. I didn't ask for it back because I don't even care. I could get another one. And her and Casper still fell out to this day. I still talk to Casper, of course, because me and Casper never had a problem. We always understood each other's friendship. We always understood each other's boundaries. We never got into it. We never had weird vibes from each other. That's why we still friends to this day. And, like... As a friend, I hold on to my friends. Like, real friends, I hold on to them. If you real, it's no reason we can't be friends. Because I'm real too. So, two real people equals a solid friendship. It's that simple. The obsessive friend probably watched this video. I don't even care. Because that's, that's just something you just don't do. Like, why are you so why are you so obsessed like i wouldn't dare want nobody's life. If anything, you need to figure out your own life so you can know who you is in life like why would you want to just copy somebody else's life my life was damn near not put together and you still wanted to copy it hopefully she found herself now by i've talked in like years she still be liking my posts on facebook and stuff so yeah that's my story of my sex of friends i don't wish it on nobody then i got my own life and it's not revolving around you once at all that's all i have to say for that story time because it's nothing more that's after she's made the channel i cut her off Sorry, I cut you off. She would text me what I do, what what's up, like what happened. Girl, you know exactly what you did. I told this story to Casper and she know like it's weird. She even said to herself like, yeah, that's definitely weird. You introduced me to her girl, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't wish her nothing but the best in life and success, of course. I hope you stay positive. I hope you find yourself and who you actually want to be in life. And I hope you just on a better journey in life and got some more friends. That'll be all for my story time. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And that'll be all for today's video.